Hello everyone, I'm Maggie Doherty and I'm the Recruitment and Admissions Coordinator at Queen's Law. Today I'm speaking with Jillian Reddy, the International Law Programs Director. Jillian, do you mind giving us an overview of your position? Sure. Um, I'm a graduate of Queen's Law and I've worked here since 1999 in various roles. I've been the Director of the Faculty's International Law Program since 2006. Uh, working with two faculty members who are experts in international law, what I do is I organize two eight-week programs that are held at a castle in England each May and June. What is the BISC? So, Hurstman Sioux Castle in East Sussex was given to Queen's in 1993, which was a very nice gift. Um, the university runs undergraduate programs there at what's called the Bader International Studies Center, and they run them throughout the year. The law programs, which just operate in the spring term, began in 2001. How are the law programs structured? So there are two programs. One is in public international law and one is in international business law. Both of the programs include three, three credit courses. Each begins with an introductory course. The public courses then introduce international criminal, humanitarian, human rights and refugee law. And the business courses cover international trade, investment and commercial arbitration law. What makes the programs unique? Well, first of all, the programs are taught by a team of really experienced senior practitioners and academics, and most of them return every year and are really dedicated to the programs. Um, they typically include lawyers at Global Affairs Canada, officials from international organizations, prosecutors at international criminal tribunals, lawyers at international law firms, and professors from Queen's Law and elsewhere. Actually, students should have a look at the impressive biographies on our website. Um, in addition to the great instructors, we hold many special events at the castle, including a careers night, and we also take students to visit international organizations and law firms in London. And then maybe most important, um, each program includes a one-week trip where we meet officials and lawyers on the continent. The public group goes to The Hague in Geneva, and the business group goes to Brussels, Paris in Geneva. Who can participate? There are about 25 students in each of the two programs. Queen's students have priority in admissions, but we sometimes have room for students from other law schools. We find that a large majority of the students who take part have just completed their first year of law school, although it is possible to do the program after second year or even as part of an LLM. What are the academic and career advantages of the programs? So in addition to earning nine upper year credits, the programs allow students who might be interested in international law to get a head start. They can then take the full range of international law courses at Queen's in second and third year. The programs teach students how to plan a career in international law and help them make valuable professional connections. In addition, they have the chance to apply for several internships that we offer for July and August after the programs end. But even if students decide that they're not going to ultimately pursue a career in international law, the programs are useful later in law school and even in practice. Many students find that having three upper year courses under their belt and another interesting experience to talk about helps when they're applying for second year summer positions in the fall of second year. What is the application process? So we'll hold an information session in the fall term for everybody who might be interested and then students complete a short application form online. It's quite straightforward. And in recent years, all the Queen students who applied by the deadline have been offered a place. How much do the programs cost and is there financial aid? So the program fee includes the three courses, accommodation and meals for eight weeks, and the trips to London and the continent. In 2022, we think the fee will be about $15,000. We know that's you know, quite a big investment, but we think it's also an excellent investment. But there are needs-based bursaries and merit scholarships that can significantly help with the cost. In addition, students who have OSAP loans can usually access further loans. What is it like to live at the BISC? Well, the castle is very beautiful. It's on a large estate with gardens and woods. Students have classes and meals at the castle, so they're down there pretty much all day, but they do sleep in a modern residence that's a short walk away. The castle's in a really rural location, so the law students actually become a very close-knit group, and we plan lots of formal and informal social events. Um, in addition, the instructors live on site, often with their families, so students have a really great chance to spend time with them at meals and in the castle pub in the evenings, as well as on the trips. We try to give students a chance to see a lot of the local sites and towns. It's a really beautiful part of England. But in addition, as the castle is close to Gatwick, students often take inexpensive weekend flights all over Europe. 
students are encouraged to have a look at our website, but I'm also available if anybody has questions, you can contact me at any time at my email address, which is jillian.ready at queensu.ca. Thank you so much, Jillian, for speaking with us today. If you have any other questions surrounding Queen's Law, please reach out to jd at queensu.ca.